Hey everybody, Travis here. Today we're gonna briefly talking about Neo's capital raise again. And we're gonna talk about the volatility of Bitcoin during the day. Today is a pretty strong day for Neo with stock price going up by 6.42% to 62.7 US dollars. By the time of market close today, Neo is officially the number three largest automakers by market capital in the world, with a total market capital of $97.74 billion. Again, it is unthinkable even one year ago. Investors are responding to the NEO day pretty positively today. But right after the NEO day, NEO is offering $1.3 billion in convertible notes. This is, in fact, another way of raising capital. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the capital raise this time because it is less than a month since NEO offering public shares December last year. But considering the over 1,000% investment return last year, I guess raising capital is understandable. They're planning to use the capital to build more battery swapping stations and probably expand to the international market and build more factories. That wouldn't be a bad thing for long-term investors, but I also wouldn't expect some drastic stock price increase in the near term. I think even a few banks have increased the price target of NEO with current expansion rate, production rate, NEO is in a fair valuation. But if there's going to be a dip in NEO's stock price, I won't be hesitant to add more share. Next, let's move to the Bitcoin. Bitcoin had a huge volatility today, I think because of two reasons. First, with the significant value increase of Bitcoin over the last few months, cryptocurrencies are now facing more and more regulatory pressure. More than one government officials from different countries are very vocal about putting on regulations on Bitcoin. Second factor is over the few months, some investors have huge gain and they're simply taking the profit and secure the profit. I would wait a little bit longer till Bitcoin potentially crosses the 50,000 US dollars price mark. By then, I was seriously considering selling a portion and take the profit. Okay, that wraps up everything for today. Thanks for listening to Travis Trading Daily. I'll see you next time.